Hey, this is Brian. Um, my voice is a little scratchy today, but today I'll be showcasing some of the work that I've been doing in Qblade for the CWC 2022 project. So I'm going to jump right in. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, this screen right here that you're looking at is the airfoil page. So I've imported a bunch of airfoils. Um, these were all from airfoiltools.com and they were all found through benchmarking to be uh, very effective and perform very well in small scale turbines. So first step in Qblade is always to import, import your foils. Um, then heading over here, you can see in the top left corner where my mouse is, it says SG6040, that's the foil name. Um, so I have these polar performance models for, for everything. This is kind of how Qblade um, determines the foil will perform. Um, if you make a new polar, you can run this analysis at a certain Reynolds number. I did 100,000 for all of them. Um, and this is the start and end angle of attack that you can run it at. And it gives you all these values. The most important ones are the coefficient of lift and the coefficient of drag because that will be used to calculate your angle of attack when you actually go ahead and build your blade. Uh, this page is just to create uh, 360 polars. So every blade will start off with a circular, um, circular piece, circular polar. Um, and again, this is just focused on that coefficient of lift coefficient of drag and kind of where where those are most uh, most optimal so this is um, where a lot of the work is done in Qblade this is the blade construction page um, for our turbine the largest the diameter can be is uh, 0.45 meters so all of these blades are going to be 0.2 meters long and with a 3 centimeter hub radius. Um, but so what we're doing here is we're entering all these different chunks, all these different positions. We're defining what foil that position um, uses. And then we're specifying what polar analysis it was used from, from this section up here. Um, and it creates this blade that you can analyze with key blades blade element momentum theory um, With the twist that's all done through edit optimize Our group decided we wanted to go for a tip speed ratio of three three to five is pretty standard for the competition um, You can set this for optimal lift and drag um, and a lot of these are just t different techniques that are used to apply that twist to the blade. Um, so, let's see. Right. Um, so let's scroll through all these real quick. These are all the different uh, foil models. And then this blade is a combination of 6040 and 6042. <coughs> We did not do anything uh, with this page. This is just BEM simulation with um, a single um, analysis setting. But this page has multiple analysis settings. This is what we focused on. Um, so we're running a variety of simulations here to calculate the ideal torque and RPM to achieve the most power for our turbine blades. Um, so up here, I can scroll through the different simulations that I've run. I ran one for each of the SG60 series, and then also for the um, blade with the combination of two. Um, and when we're looking at this, we can adjust the wind speed up here, the RPM, and the uh, blade pitch, which we did not um, do too much with. We have not worked with blade pitch angles. Uh, so far, that kind of adds that third variable of complexity to designing um, the generator and turbine blades. But as far as wind speed goes, the most winds 
that our turbine will be subject to in the competition is 13 miles per hour. So I'm going to scroll to that and you can see the graph highlighting those data points below. And now we're looking at, okay, what rotational speed do we want our turbine to operate at to achieve the most power? So I'm going to keep scrolling and you can see a um, little green dot kind of approaching that peak right there. Um, so this is all that we're doing for Q-Blade. We're taking this ideal torque and RPM value in the top left corner and we're using those values um, to construct a generator. And that MATLAB code is also, MATLAB code, sorry, is also included in the portfolio um, and how we use these torque and RPM values to influence generator construction. Um, this is it for now. just wanted to make a quick video kind of just demonstrating some of the work that uh, I've been doing in here. And thanks for watching.